Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 86, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. Now, of course, your target may be a lot less than that, and it may be, particularly for the young guns watching this, a great deal more than $1,000 a day. Now, to achieve more than 1000 we simply increase the number of contracts that we're trading, or maybe increase the amount of time you're putting in front of the screen. I like to really get in and out within the first one or two hours so I can go on and do other things. Now, what I teach in these classes, uh, you can apply to futures, forex and stocks. Uh, and in today's session, I promise you, I'm gonna give you some real golden nuggets. We're gonna be talking very briefly, well, well I'll say briefly about uh, how I use the overlay chart we will be of course using the Renko chart but what I teach here you can apply to any chart type whether you like time based charts tick range uh, volume it doesn't matter the setups are the setups and as I mentioned they're fractal in nature and they work on all markets so let's get into it we do need to pull up the disclaimer traders there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Absolutely critical. You follow the money management rules and which means we never, as day traders, we never ever risk more than 2% on an individual trade. And before you start trading the big contracts or multiple contracts, why not start on the micros, which we'll talk very briefly about in a couple of moments. Now, uh, if you haven't already, on the description link below, you can download my ebook for Truth About Day Trading. I've also got some Excel spreadsheets down there, and you'll see I will refer to those briefly. And there's a scientific reason I refer to those. Yes, there really is. Uh, but you can also download those or request those in the link below. What's absolutely uh, critical traders is that you know I love this quote the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas unfortunately we live in a society where so many people have what we call a fixed mindset uh, I've been trading for 40 years and uh, I haven't made it yet and I've tried that and it doesn't work now we see this um, and I see it as a coach um, uh, every day and usually unfortunately it's the older generation as well they become very fixed in their mindset traders be open-minded to the strategies I'm about to show you because they're all based on pure logic. The, how I trade, I trade with patterns, geometric patterns that we see appear in the market every single day. So what you're learning to uh, trade is really patterns. You're looking for a pattern to set up. You can actually print out the patterns and have them on your wall so you know exactly what you're looking for. This ain't rocket science. But unfortunately, a lot of traders will be even wanting to flick on right now. Come on, get to it, get to it. Remember, 90% of trading is psychology. If you don't master your mind, you're not going to master your trading. Uh, one of my members sent this to me last week, and I <laughs> this is the first time I've used it. And uh, I just love this. If you hang out with me too long, that is Samurai Trader, I'll brainwash into... Uh, are you into believing in yourself and knowing you can achieve anything? So let me give you this quote. Traders, if you hang out with me long enough, I'll brainwash you into believing in yourself and knowing you can achieve anything. You can do this, but not if you approach it with grandiose, unrealistic targets. You've got to have or start off with realistic achievable step-by-step, -step, a realistic achievable step-by-step -step trading plan to get you there. If you were to uh, um, learn or if you wanted to uh, play a sport or really with anything, any skill set, you start off with the basics and you build from there. That's just so important. And the biggest thing here is me making sure that you know you can do what I'm about to show you with practice and with screen time and with coaching. And so therefore, a very, very quick advertisement. If you're not already one of my members, first of all, make sure you subscribe um, to my channel and please give a big tick, whatever you do, like my uh, video. Uh, it encourages me also to keep putting my videos out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, but you can join 
the day traders fast track program for only $197 it includes all of my indicators over 20 hours of live recorded sessions there's 38 PowerPoints but don't worry you don't have to learn all of my setups you focus on just a couple to begin with and what I also have going as a bonus at the moment included in the 197 you can also attend the scalpers and day traders private group coaching sessions so eight times a month that is uh, every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I run two-hour training sessions uh, they are recorded where I'm walking uh, walking traders through step by step how to trade the setups we cover the psychology of trading money management and much much more now that's all included for in the $197 the value of that is priceless I answer your emails you can type in questions etc this is a $10,000 program now after the month the first month traders if you wish you can drop me an email it's not an automatic sign up so don't worry and drop me an email and say hey I want to continue with this I'm digging this this is fantastic end of ad come and join us the description link is below all right I always start these sessions off talking about goal setting and I know some of you might get sick of this however how is your trading plan how are how is your goal setting plan going and that is when we set out a plan and an action plan we start to achieve results and I love to base things on science I'm a researcher I love researching different topics and naturally trading and um, I've got to, well anyway I go down that road and tell you about that the research I've done but on the important side on the head stuff side is there's some great articles out now and there's just been um, really the industry's been leaping ahead with neuroscience and what it really means to you as a trader when you're setting goals and you're working to a plan now there's a, a gentleman called dr. Andrew Huberman he's a neuroscientist and you can actually go on YouTube by the way he's got uh, this is just one snapshot but he talks of course about the effects of dopamine so many other things here um, the power of belief but it's based on science now why is that important when it comes to trading you need to believe in yourself now I'm not talking about you becoming a confident fool that is going ahead and saying yep I can do this yet you don't have the skill set to do that but it's developing the knowledge that you can do this with the skills and you can and the reason I bring this up is that quite often and I have many traders come and join me that perhaps have struggled with trading over the last 10 20 years and unfortunately they've developed um, uh, emotional damage seriously through that uh, lack of self-trust self-esteem issues there's a whole lot of things that go with that so we need to work on that so trading truly is 90% psychology now now as we're starting to quickly go into and I want to go and just talk about how do I get you to where you are consistently profiting from trading and what would it mean to you to be earning an extra thousand two thousand ten thousand a week well for most traders it would be and really 98% of the population it would be life-changing so this is where having a realistic achievable step by step plan comes into place so how do you achieve that now if you're trading the after hours market which is called the Globex market which opens at 6 p.m. if you're trading futures uh, of course uh, Forex is trading basically 24 hours a day we start off by targeting only $100 a day per contract you trade now I'm going to show you on the micro in a moment how it would be $10 a day then you go to 15 then you go to 20 within no time you're up to three or four hundred dollars a day and 300 is if I'm trading a six tick Renko my targets 300 a day, a day per contract if I'm trading the four tickets $200 a day or a thousand dollars a day is my target I trade five lots maximum of 10 lots now I'll have traders say why not trade 100 lots 
it basically it's a fallacy about the amount of traders out there that are trading hundreds of contracts at a time yes there are some traders that are very good at that but the majority of day traders you know be quite happy if they're earning a hundred thousand to a million dollars a year okay now you're going to have uh, like prop traders at uh, SMB capital earning 20 million dollars a year but uh, I tend to find that with most traders they're pretty happy for earning a hundred two hundred three hundred thousand dollars a year and that's also realistic if we have this sort of approach so starting off at a hundred dollars a day and I'll show you how to do that I'm going to show you on the charts how you realistically do this so stick around and please be open-minded because what I teach you or going to be teaching you here is how to trade patterns that appear in the market every single day it's a matter of developing the skill set over all the patience and the discipline to wait for those patterns now in today's session I'm going to be going through um, 25 minutes I'll show you on the charts but I want to show you a whole lot more than this okay six trades for four wins one break even one loss now yep that's great but remember I've been doing this for 28 years now so what I've got to show you is if you're not making money consistently where do you start what's a realistic achievable plan for you so we'll look at the spreadsheet in a moment but we're doing something special today that is I'm going to be also talking about how to trade using the overlay chart so the overlay chart and this is the trades I've taken and we're actually going to go to this chart in, in a few minutes is where on the lower part of your screen we've got indicators from a higher time frame what this means is on one screen I can make most of my trading decisions based upon everything here now this may not suit all traders uh, and I'd say most traders look 20 or 30 percent of traders love the overlay chart others would prefer to have uh, an entry chart uh, and an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two which I'll probably mention when I get to the live charts in a couple of minutes so what we're doing is trading in the direction of the indicators uh, on our higher time frame so I've got a hull moving average I've got a long-term stochastic um, and I use a short-term stochastic or an RSI okay I want to be trading in the direction particularly of my on this case I'm using an RSI we don't have time to go into all the reasons why of the settings but basically see how it's trending down I'm really interested in that short see how now it's kicked up I'm really interested that's the black line in any longs now that's just a very simplified version so the six trades I took we're, we're over and done with within about 25 minutes I'm going to talk also about a really I shouldn't have taken this trade and I want to tell you why in a moment uh, and then I had a beautiful reversal okay um, and down we come and I was out now some traders will say to me why don't you keep trading you know what get in get out get paid that suits my personality now your goal traders may be only $500 a day um, whatever target maybe $200 a day could be ten thousand dollars a day so it really comes down to how much time you want to spend in in front of a screen also the time frame that you trade now I finished up uh, down here now for members watching this I then had the I notice I don't have the 89 I've put it back on the live chart when we go to it in a moment but uh, uh, and we bounced beautifully off the 89 but then I had a beautiful bet the farm set up straight after it and then we had a fantastic 34b just after that uh, which I wasn't on obviously you can see that you can see my trade entries and my exits here now very important you can learn you can do this it's just a matter of learning the syntax of the order of exactly what I'm looking for and do you know what it's all pattern based now let me show you a realistic plan how we can get you there now when the why is big enough the how becomes easy that is you've got to have that compelling future now 
today we're going to be looking at what we call a five tick Renko chart normally I'm looking at a four or a six but I had the five on here for just something a little unique I was testing um, just using what we call Renko tails for entries that's another story for another time but to realistically trade uh, a six tick Renko and to be generous with your stop loss you would generally need between five and six thousand dollars to trade the big contract now the great news is now with micro contracts you start on a micro you only need five to six hundred dollars now starting off so even if you had the six or ten or twenty thousand I still recommend you start on a micro cut your teeth on that make all the mistakes you're going to make before you progress to the big contract now with a $600 account going for $30 a day which is 10% of the daily target uh, I have extremely realistic we can see here that within 12 weeks down here you would actually now have $6,000 so using the markets money you can now roll over and start trading the big contract this is how you start your trading career now I know traders are going to be logging off now they don't want to hear this they want to hear about how to get rich quick well you know you're better off taking a holiday because you're going to lose your money and at least enjoying uh, the money you spend on the holiday this is how we get there and I'm telling you this as an experienced trader and as your trading coach now down here you can see well just over here quantity one quantity one this is trading one micro on the micro NQ which is what we're talking about here so $63 on one contract 75 88 on one so the bottom line is here traders to achieve $30 a day um, this is consistent if you're trading if you're focused apply discipline and follow the rules now once you then do that traders we then roll over into the big contract now you may be happy with just a hundred dollars a day 500 a week and as you're going to see when we get to the charts how straightforward if you're following a rules based strategy how achievable this can be once again I can't give you any guarantees because I don't know if you're going to follow the rules okay that's why we've got a CFTC and the NFA make sure we give disclaimers you've got to learn the skill set but you can see here traders on $300 a day within 11 weeks you've got the potential there of earning $11,000 a week income on trading basically by then it would be about 10 contracts and your account is now $54,000 now the big question is then and and really anything in life when it comes to success is about asking the right questions the question is how how do we get there how do we achieve these targets well if we're trading in this case here this is a little um, goal setting sheet for the six tick Renko and once again you could be doing this on any chart type so this is just specific for the Renko here all I need is between three and four net trades a day after any losses okay now the thing is then which trades are going to give us these sorts of moves as a minimum well great 2ds if you're a divergence trader and I recommend all new traders do not divergence trade no CT trades we only trade with the trend and the 2b's we want to focus trading with the trend and you can see the bottom line within nine weeks on 300 a day we're financially free basically traders okay this is what this means so the bottom line is setting a realistic target now rather than 23 weeks I'd be saying set a target of around 40 weeks why so you start off on 50 cents a tick okay but you've got to give yourself realistically that five to ten weeks on the simulator time's gonna pass anyway traders so why not approach this correctly so once you do go live and you're only going to go live once you're consistently profitable with the setups on the simulator that is you can carry out almost exactly very very close to what would be a real trade then you roll over 
to the to the micro within 12 weeks you are now up to this another 11 weeks we're now up to a potential income or whatever your income goal is your account size is 54,000 so where are you going to be in six months from now basically it really comes down to how you approach your trading and doing it the right way from day one so how do we get you there well let me show you but as we step to the charts there's a couple of critical factors that we need to consider now this may appear to be a brand new language for many traders even looking at a Renko chart can be very unique for a lot of traders you may not have been exposed to Renko before but the advantage of a Renko chart is it smooths out price action and it makes it a, a lot easier to identify um, uh, geometric patterns that we see every day in the market so what we need to know traders is where are our pivots now pivots the open high the prior day open high low and close levels your EMAs your current days high and low uh, all of those are automatically plotted on your chart I won't go in and explain what everyone means but once I spent half an hour with you on each one you go oh that makes sense okay I see it the only other one here is your intraday swing highs and lows and we target these for targets and uh, virtually uh, like on TradeStation or Ninja Trader, we've got the swing rate indicator or there's the swing indicator which will actually plot these for you as well and I'm not sure if we've got uh, we will probably we'll go to the charts and see if we've got any examples why this is important so let's go to the charts and let me walk you through step by step sorry about that step by step exactly what I'm looking for okay so what we're looking at here this is um, what we call a 5-2 uh, Renko normally and this is something I was um, testing okay uh, normally I would be on a 4-2 or a 6-3 Renko so this is a little different and it doesn't matter by the way you could just trade this one it's virtually the same so down here I've got my overlay chart now how you can use this your overlay chart is the trend direction of our overall indicators is what we want to be doing is trading in the direction of the higher time frame so I'm looking for retracements and pullbacks and then basically a slingshot back in the direction of what the higher time frame is telling me now we don't have time today to go through everything on how to trade the overlay chart but it uh, and if you look at this here we can see here I've got my holes down I've got my long-term stochastic I've got my RSI um, I really want to be taking this one here and for members watching this this is also a t10 and it's a pivot bounce. so it's a bounce off actually yesterday's closed today's open on this particular day uh, we've got a nice little uh, potential trade there but this is problematic why we're selling straight into the anchor chart uh, uh, one 200 EMA now one uh, tip here trade see that little black line there that's actually a 600 EMA now what it does it's not an exact replica but it models quite closely to what the 200 EMA is doing on your higher time frame and remember on that checklist I showed you the 89 and 200 EMA they are critical to your success as a trader so a little further along somewhere along is we're going to come across the trades but what I just wanted to point out and explain from the right hand side exactly what we're looking for when it comes to trading now first of all notice how we're bouncing off these EMAs notice here we had an overshoot we're bouncing off that level this comes down to the prior days open high low and close they act as price magnets now just here quite frankly I don't have anything so let's just scroll from the right hand side so as I'm coming down here okay right there the white candle there that's called my super scalper now that would not be ready to trade until right now now the challenge I've got with this potential trade here 
it's looking good but straight above me I've also got the prior days close and the current days open when you sell or buy see over here how if you had a bought in there we bounced see down here you got plenty of room up to that one these were t12s by the way I call those t12s they're trades now uh, not trades that I executed you'll see the ones I I did execute when you're buying or selling into pivots the prior days open high low or close uh, or the high of day or low of day you want to have room to those levels why because like this see how we bounced let's see what happens here and see there we bounced and in fact you've actually got a divergence set up right there for new members or for members watching you can see there you've actually got a t10 right there so you've actually got a short signal right there now we've also traders got a double top and you've also got divergence if you did take this trade what's in front of the trade now I would not have an entry until now with any trade setup you take you've always got to say to yourself do I have blue skies ahead and what exactly do I mean by that what's in front of the trade so if I was to sell here I've got to get past the 200 which is that purple line and I then have major potential support down here right there now let me show you this on an anchor chart okay so let me just um, hopefully we're right we teed up at the same spot and I'll go there so I trade with an anchor chart one and let me just minimize this sorry everyone we'll just have to minimize that there we go so I trade with an anchor chart one uh, and uh, an anchor chart two but what I'm looking at those uh, is for these levels is for major support resistance levels now see how we and see this down here remember I said to you we had we call it a t12 well I call it a t12 it's got a longer name but we just coded it just makes it easier uh, very rules based entry okay but look what's happening here we're bouncing off and let me actually expand this chart for you we've got a bounce we've got a bounce you got a bounce you got a bounce we we've got that little double top we just saw come on down and we go lo and behold we've got a bounce again up we go okay uh, are we going to come down and bounce excuse me I'm about to cough excuse me one moment now this may seem initially a little confusing but once you understand the clear logic of what we're looking at you begin to understand that these are what we call predictive indicators now most indicators are what we call derivatives of price price has got a plot before the indicator plots now with your open high low and close levels uh, with uh, high of day yes they're based on price action but some of them are already there in advance and the reason they work so well is crowd psychology so many professional traders we trade into these levels and so they're predictive because we've we know with a good degree of certainty we're going to hit it for an example let me just show you something right now this is live so if I go to here right now this is the four tick NQ now the market opened uh, around four minutes ago sorry uh, 11 minutes ago remember I was just telling you about the 200 EMA and the pivot Did you see that blue line look what I've just bounced off look what I've just bounced off again okay when you understand the power of these EMAs now remember a few minutes ago I also said about the swing highs and swing lows when we enter a trade we say do I have blue skies ahead okay there's nothing in front of me except for that swing and this swing we take the the uh, further this swing that's furthest away not miles away but within really striking distance here where we can actually see it and that makes a great longer term target now the market at the moment this is the four tick it's moving quite quickly and you'll actually find usually when the market opens uh, the globe session now this is um, 5 p.m. central standard time by the way 6 p.m. Eastern um, the market opens now these are also called three B's 
and if this goes any further without looking at the anchor chart that would be what we call a 2b high probability um, uh, with trend trades so let's now go and have a look at this so we're about we're getting close to having some trade set up now what I want you to notice here is is my indicator here it's telling me here it was oversold it's now telling me hey look for long trades here now we already had some entries here anyway with the t12s but let's just scroll along and let's see what is next now one thing that uh, you want to do is oh, well, I've already mentioned this we want to know do we have blue skies ahead so and already I've got this here so this is what I do I just simply do this regularly because if we scroll down here this is called the central pivot that's the high of day that's the current day's low I can see down here I've got another pivot in training I teach you how to trade these they're really and they're all automatically on your chart any good charting platform will have these by the way I uh, my platform preference is uh, ninja trader or trade station but it, uh, if you're using toss mc4 futures you'll be able to get just about every one of these indicators uh, from if not if I don't have it in the library um, they'll just be on forums but anyway so as we coming up we always expect the bounce okay we don't always get it but expect the bounce now up uh, here what are we at here uh, right here I think this is the first trade I actually took now here I'm bouncing off I've got a little double top right here uh, down below I've got uh, some major support resistance I have some divergence and this is a reversed trade now this wasn't a perfect trade by any by any means but uh, I went short here and my target is to sell down somewhere in this vicinity here now as a scalper traders just so you know I usually use fixed targets now I call these steps by the way doesn't matter what time frame I'm, I'm on I'm after five to seven steps unless I'm very close to a major area of support or resistance and I've got enough room to take a profit in other words if I had a wee bit more room up to here uh, that's a no-brainer but if I've got enough room what I'll actually do is buy into the pivot or the major area of resistance and get to my uh, get to break even which is my entry price lock in a few ticks and if I punch through fantastic or I'm if I've got enough room I might even take profits at that major area and that's what scalpers do but what it means is I've also got a very small stop loss and so my favorite saying many of you know this get in get out get paid so we've got this trade uh, right here and so uh, we're now going to be short now this was not a perfect uh, entry but it was a nice one because we'd been bouncing and this is uh, what we call a trading range so we'd bounce there excuse me and I'm in this trade and down we come okay so down we go and I'm out basically at the anchor chart 200 EMA now I'm now going to take a t12 uh, a t12 is where I've uh, and there are certain conditions okay so basically there are conditions to these trades so it's a pretty much a mechanical entry the rules uh, but I've got a t12 entry right here okay and very rules based we're bouncing off major EMAs and in this particular case uh, I hit what we call plus five steps and I went to break even okay now on my ATM on my trading dome when I hit certain targets it automatically and I can adjust them manually on the chart but it'll either take me out of profit or get me to break even and this particular one then I picked up I think it was four ticks in the end so it hit plus five steps uh, and so I didn't hit the ideal target and I was out of that trade but it was a break even we then had what we call just there a rule of one entry I want you to look here that this indicator 
um, I'm not so worried about what these are doing with reversals but I am interested what they're doing with trend when I'm trading with the trend so right here I've got a trade entry you can see it just there straight above uh, here to go long and in taking this long look what's up above now I actually um, made a bit of an error with this trade and let me just scroll along and I was explaining this to uh, my members is down here if I've got a marginal trade it certainly I've got a slightly higher high what I do is I wait for a short-term stochastic hook and I entered this one based upon momentum okay the market sort of moving well but I really should have waited one more candle now it didn't affect me but notice here I entered this but then I took a bit of heat I had a red candle form straight after so um, I really should have waited for what we call a short-term stochastic hook or a slingshot uh, back up to the long now because I've also got this major area of resistance in front of me I'm going to want to get to break even and take profits fairly quickly and there's the bounce right there now here's the challenge with with these and if I remember correctly I think I re-entered pretty much straight away we can take profits at this only to sometimes see it pull back and then take off again but then quite often you'll get this you go up there uh, and if you didn't get out you regret it because you then pull back so it's sort of you, you uh, what I like to do is I prefer to get out get some money in the bank and you can always re-enter and I remember this is exactly what happened here I got out at this uh, pivot level picked up a nice profit out of it okay now each one of these steps by the way is worth ten dollars so a five step move on five contracts is two hundred and fifty dollars okay so that's not bad in a matter of two minutes and that's literally what that was so I just simply look for another re-entry so I'm pulling back now notice this here see this with my EMAs this is called a fanning of the EMAs they are fanning apart now I don't know if you've noticed how smooth these charts are and this is the NQ which is a lot choppier than say the Dow the Russell um, uh, gold oil the ES um, if you we had the Dow up here it's so much you just get these beautiful trends but you don't get uh, the, the large ranges that you'll get with the NQ or the micro NQ the NQ you get these huge moves um, uh, um, during the really 23 hours a day you'll get these incredible moves like already you would have already wrapped up your trading for the day if you were trading now like now we've totally reversed just there that's what we call a 3b you're broken above your 200 higher high note there you've hit the pivot already see this just here rallied up for traders watching this look at your divergence just there okay so you just had a divergence pullback now see how this is now bouncing just here off for 34 if this was only divergence which because it's just crossed above the 200 this would only be divergence on your entry chart we call that a t19 that's your weakest form of divergence when you've got divergence and this is also by the way moving too quickly and I'll talk about that very briefly in a moment we'll go another 15 minutes <laughs> extend this too far but um, number one when the markets pumping like this uh, you either sit on your hands or you simply increase the time frame so here if we were to jump up to a six tick you'd find that it's it would be a lot slower than this okay just that two ticks can make a, a big difference or maybe even an eight tick but that means you're going to have a larger stop now back what I was saying here when you've got and we'll actually see one in a moment where we had multiple divergences it increases your probability of the trade dramatically so if you've got divergence on an entry chart and you've got divergence on your anchor chart okay beauty that's fantastic now I've got to say once again that's for the experienced traders so let me now move that out the way and here's my entry whoops no I'm out of that one that's right so it was trade three right 
so we nice nice reversal nice with trend but got out of break even why I hit my break even it pulled back and yes it did continue oh and that was the thing I didn't really say about this and this can happen you hit your break even it pulls back and then it continues that's trading but the way I look at it you can always re-enter now let me do this from the right hand side so as we've got just there we pulled back we've got a fan in of the EMAs all of my indicators are pointing north they're telling me to go long I'm reading my instruments I want you to imagine you're a pilot flying an aircraft during the night you can't see the land this is what we're reading okay our instruments so here we're in now this is something remember okay now what we've got here is the high of day the current day's high why is that important we may get a bounce off that high so say if I've got up to here and I know this is not going to be my final seven step target what I'll do is make sure I'm at least at break even when I hit that high just in case we get a bounce now quite often we'll keep punching through but quite often too you'll hit that and bounce so let's just see what happens here so basically two three four five six seven or oh, there we are I'm straight through that my target was just on the other side anyway now how much further does this go now and here's why I'm going to say this so many traders will say to you why did you exit that why didn't you trail traders as a scalper I'm in and out and by the way that was over one minute the market was moving fairly quickly and this is 15 this is 145 a.m. you could apply this you can just see how the markets moving now and this is by the way it's 1727 so this is um, uh, 627 in the evening on uh, the Nasdaq Eastern Standard Time so you get these great moves basically 23 hours a day and the reason I say 23 hours a day the markets closed on the future side that is not the Forex for one hour a day so I prefer to get out and get paid on these now one thing I will do I'll either decrease my target if I'm really expecting a bounce or I'll increase my target by an extra three or four steps sometimes one sometimes two uh, if I've got a really strong magnet ahead now as we're now heading up like this we're now making a new high and this is a mistake I actually made see this here I've got a high high on price I've got a lower high just here and I actually took this trade um, uh, as a T what we call a T3 so particularly on the anchor chart it's what we call a reversion to the mean setup usually they're, they're really very great trade but in this case I got stopped immediately on this particular trade okay I got stopped out immediately now and the reason I went hmm it was because it was very marginal okay now one of the worst things we can actually do is sometimes fight the, a really strong trend and that's what I had here t3s overall uh, a great trades and I got stopped immediately okay so that was my loss now I then rally up and now I've got a great 2d now a 2d traders is where I've got a double divergence <clears throat> I've got divergence on an entry chart or my two anchor charts uh, and actually that has it look so I'm just looking at charts compressing a little bit here so what I'm looking at is uh, and, and initially if you're a brand new trader what you want to have is an anchor chart uh, one and you then expand to having an anchor chart two but what you're really looking for on these time frames what are we really looking for what's the overall trend direction by the way that see how clean that is now where's the divergence here well here we've got a higher high on price and see how this is called a zero lag MACD now I've got that coded for NinjaTrader and for TradeStation and 
you can set up the zero lag using some unique settings on any MACD so say if you've got MT4 or, or think or swim you can set up exactly the same uh, indicator uh, basically with a common MACD just with a unique set of um, uh, settings that I use but this is um, turns on a dime okay but this is what we call here a 2d when whoops and when I was going to say when I take a 2d and I you can see here I'm actually in a wee bit oh no I was in basically almost on time uh, is I target the 89 EMA I won't go into the reasons why but I've got a set target for that if we have divergence on the anchor chart too I target the uh, the 200 EMA and you can see we come down and bang now in this particular case I actually try we come down and we hit the seven steps uh, which is where I'd normally be out on my ATM but I took a few extra I actually trailed down and picked up a few extra ticks um, out of that trade so 1500 thereafter commissions in 25 minutes now straight after that we then had and I might as well just quickly point these out I had then we call this a bet the farm well I call it a bet the farm it's a, uh, a unique setup that we have with the trend and by the way bet the farms a bit of a tongue-in-cheek we never ever break our money management rules of a maximum of 2% I trade at 0.5 to 1% risk as you build and let me just expand on that as you build your account traders you want to drop down from 2% risk if you're a day trader down to probably 1% okay you never want to risk any more than two and what that also allows you to do is if you're in a position and you want to add to a position which you'll quite often see me do I'm still not breaking the maximum exposure risk of 2% so there was that would have been a beautiful bet the farm members know what this is and over here you had a slingshot just there would have been another one now look at your pivot up above and we'll finish on this one traders if ever you have and we call this a t28 or a pivot magnet setup these kick butt in fact let me just show you this and so this is wasn't expect but I'll just thought I'd mention this to you where is this uh, let me just quickly see if I can get this is this on the t28 uh, first two hours um, yeah so just here uh, I will sometimes a t28 uh, I've got another document here from this member t28 no that's uh, 85 no he's not uh, too big gives me 90% no that's not it uh, what I was looking for is um, uh, his results he was achieving on the t28 pivot magnet trade so what exactly is a pivot magnet trade remember before I mentioned that uh, as we get towards um, uh, pivots high of day etc they're predictive because they become price magnets well within on different markets within if you within a certain number of ticks I want you to think of a, of a, a magnet you get attracted to these I'm not going to give you um, the secret sauce here but pivot magnet trades are a 90% plus trade okay once you understand the, the rules it's mechanical in its approach uh, you've got to wait for a couple of trading conditions but they're very straightforward but what I was going to say so I just noticed that was a pivot be prior to that was not a pivot magnet then it turns into a pivot magnet trade if ever you miss a, a pivot now that was at 75 and that was basically there uh, that's five ticks we've missed the pivot by five ticks to be very cautious on any reversal trades because if if you miss a pivot by one tick that's okay you miss it by five or six you'll probably find a good 85 to 90 percent of the time you're going to go up there you'll have a retracement and go up there and give that pivot a big fat kiss okay so just be aware of that so traders um, I've covered a, a great deal uh, in this session with you look this is not 
rocket science it truly isn't it's about learning the patterns okay um, uh, and unfortunately some traders will say these patterns are BS do you know why because they're not they usually lack discipline they're not willing to listen um, they have a fixed mindset but think about the logic why do we take a reversal trade because we've got a number of high probability indicators identifying or assisting with the reversal uh, if it's a t3 it's it's a, a snapback or if you look at some of the the EMA bounces we're trading with the trend so if you'd like to learn how to trade correctly the right way the first time if you want to work on getting your head right that is getting the day traders mindset uh, I've even hired a hypnotherapist who's recorded some sessions uh, for my members uh, some of you may have even seen in my video yesterday I brought this up only by coincidence because someone asked me for the PowerPoint uh, on a, a video I did some years ago on neurolinguistics um, uh, where I, as I said I been studying NLP it's now over 40 years but I'm not a practitioner however I know enough of it not to be dangerous to be very good at it in teaching uh, members how to create lasting change very very quickly so there's just so many things there traders I want to train you in but most importantly we start off with just a couple of the setups you attend the coaching sessions or you watch the sessions and you learn my course setups step by step what's the exact syntax which means the order of things we execute okay so traders come and join me okay so um, uh, come and master the out of day trading with me following a realistic achievable step-by-step -step trading plan thanks traders and I'll see you this was uh, session 86 and uh, hopefully I'll see you in class and see you in the next video